But God, even my life, I, I have troubles to manage it. And you want me to manage a relationship? Okay. Hello, guys. Hope that you are doing well. My name is Esmond, and I say welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are on episode two of the series about from friendship to relationship. This is just a testimony of how God guides me and he's guiding me currently in my relationship with a wonderful, amazing man. And I'm just so grateful and I want to share this story because I think that maybe someone is waiting for this blessing. Maybe someone is waiting for someone to share their life with. And I think that sharing this will give the grace to someone to live the same and even above because God is always doing more and more and better and better. So that's why I'm sharing this story. So if you have time and you want to know about the first part, you can just click on the link that will be there and you will see the first part of the story. But if you want me to make a little resume, a sum up, in 2023, I met someone and with this man, we started a relationship. It was in May 2023. So at that time, it was my first real relationship with a real man. <laughs> Why do I say that? I say that because, you know, as girls, we used to sometimes dream and have ideas that are not always the reality. So I remember that in the past, I was thinking about something with someone, but the person was not thinking the same as I was thinking. You know what I mean? You know, I'm sure that you know what I mean because I'm sure that I'm not the only girl who lived this kind of situation. In May 2023 was my first uh, and my only <laughs> relationship. And I was like a baby, you know, that you drop in a swimming pool <laughs> and you say, go and swim. But thanks God, the Holy Spirit was there to give me the, <laughs> the strength. And at that time, in May 2023, I was really confused about my future. I didn't know what I wanted to do as a job, as a career. I was like lost. And at that moment, God gave me someone, you know. I was like, God, even my life, I, I have troubles to manage it. And you want me to manage a relationship. Okay, God, <laughs> we can do it. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> so uh, this man came and I had to go to Belgium with one of my, the, the member of my family to help him. And I wanted also to go there and to quit everything, like to live a new life because I was thinking about a new maybe for me it was new horizon for me a new life so i had to go i wanted to go on first of may i went to to belgium and it's on this day that day that we officially officialized the thing in the train station <laughs> when i was about to take my bus and to go so the first month of our relationship was online and it was not that hard for me. That was not the hardest part. It was very cool, you know, calling him four hours on the phone saying, and I didn't know how to say, I love you. Like for me, it was a mountain. I, I wasn't able to say, I love you to, to a man. It was, it was so awkward. You know, I was like, oh. I don't want to say that. And he was like, say, say, say. It. So I was like, okay, I love you. <laughs> so I came back. Normally I was supposed to stay there and to live and to find opportunities there. But I had this feeling in my heart. And I was sure that after praying, God gave me the, this peace to say, you can go back. I have something for you. So I came back. I came here. We were in June, so we had more time together. That was the first time that I, I had, you know, the restaurant part, the, the time together, me uh, going to cinemas. And, ah, even 
talking about it i'm like hey. <laughs> but it was so 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 good that was good memories very good memories but came a time where i had to to find a job because i didn't have any job i was a jobless woman happy to live a beautiful relationship but you need to eat also and you can not always say oh guy you're the one paying you're the one doing <laughs> no. so i was searching a job and i couldn't find and i remember that at that time i found a job and after three days <laughs> listen to this after three days in that job they fired me guys they fired me <laughs> that was the second time in my life so i was like okay uh, what am i going to do and i didn't want to tell him that they fired me because for me it was so um, awkward so difficult frustrating too much emotions at the same time because i didn't want to to disappoint him and also i was disappointed about myself so it was so difficult for me so i didn't say anything three days after and one day he came at home and he was like but you don't have a... tomorrow are you working are you going to work and i didn't say anything so he asked question why 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 and then i said uh, it's because now i they fired me and he was angry like i i don't remember a day where i saw i saw my man being like this it was oh i was like oh what did i do it's just that i didn't want to to disturb you with my my situations i'm living i had this way of thinking for me you know the the single it's good to, to, to love your your single life, but sometimes we just we are so in debt in the single part of our life that when we go to another season where you are not you 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 don't you, you are not alone now you cannot live as if your struggles are your struggles so nobody has to know about what you live no 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 you have to share it with someone so he told me this that's not normal you cannot hide things in a relationship you know you need to be transparent you need to, to tell about what you live i don't want to live with someone that i don't know that that is so you are smiling but inside you don't feel good and me i cannot do anything and i was like yes and it was hard i think that was one of the major crises that we experience and i was really bad i was like oh no what did i do i didn't want to hurt him and now he's so and it was hard it was i cried i was confused i apologized and after that came the correction <laughs> and that's another odd part he started giving me corrections like no you cannot do this uh, in your professional career that's why maybe this happened because you didn't act like this you didn't do this you have to do and i was like you don't correct me you 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 don't correct me <laughs> and i really wanted to say but i can just go why is he correcting me me but that's a way to be more, to be humble, you know. <laughs> so I accepted the correction. I said, okay, I think that you are right. I'm going to take this. I can, I'm going to note. Thank you for your advice. Your, your pieces of advice. Yes. I, I take them. Thank you. And my heart is over. February 2024. The same situation happened and he gave me the same advice and this time i applied it 
and I saw the big difference. So today, with this part of the story that I wanted to share, I just want, I just want you to keep this. Loving someone is being able to correct this person, even if it's hard. Like for me, being a single woman, I had my, 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 my customs, my way of acting, my way of taking decisions, my way, my way, my way. But when someone came, he came with his way, his mind, his ideas, his, and you have to put the you and the him together to put, to have something that is good for the future. So what can I say? That's all for today. And we will see the rest. The January 2024 things. I, <laughs> it's a big thing. It's a really big thing. So don't miss the continuity of the story and you will understand more things. I hope that this video was encouraging and that you learn something or just that you learn new words because that's also the aim of this kind of video is just to help you master more vocabulary and being being able to learn more words that's also the, the aim so i hope that you enjoyed and see you on the next video don't worry this story will be also your story why am i singing i don't know <laughs> god bless you and have a nice day have a nice week and see you on the next video Mwah.